Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to iTouch App Reviewers. First off, I want to say thank you to all the viewers um, for the last few videos. I know they've been doing really well and really that's all due to you guys. Uh, we've been gathering ideas from you. So if you guys have a comparison like, you know, MacBook Air versus Mac Mini or something that you want us to do, drop it in a comment down below. I do have two of those videos lined up, uh, 27 inch iMac versus 21 inch iMac and Mac Mini versus MacBook Pro. Uh, so I will be doing those videos hopefully before this weekend, um, but I have to get some of this news out first. So stay tuned for those videos and let's get into today's video. So the main thing I wanna talk about in this video is the MacBook Air and the Mac Mini. Um, one quick thing I wanna go over, uh, I thought this was interesting and I think you guys might as well. So the most discussed emojis in uh, iOS 12.1, uh, as you can see, the bald person and the woozy emoji are pretty much at the top which is kind of weird. I actually didn't even know there was a bald emoji added, but of course this love face, everyone likes that. The foot, um, <laughs> this little puppy dog eyes face, when she give you that look. Anyways, um, yeah, so these are some of the new ones, as you guys know. Wait a minute, is there really a white heart? Oh no, this is coming in 2019, but that's gonna be sick. I can't wait for that, that looks awesome. Um, but anyways, those are coming, and I just wanted to show you guys that because I thought it was pretty interesting. All right, so next up, I just kind of want to go over the MacBook Air again. Um, these are the hands-on first impressions, so you guys can get a look at kind of the color and what it looks like. Um, overall, it looks really good. And again, this is good for those of you that are just, you know, casual users that aren't going to do anything crazy on your laptop. You guys can go watch our other video on that if you wanna see more on that. Now, tearing it down uh, confirms that the repairability of this laptop is actually a little bit better. You guys can see the little mini condoms over all the keys. Uh, so keeping the dust out, that's good. Glad Apple did that and I'm glad that that is confirmed. As you can see, the inside is just a work of art. Um, most of these uh, seven watt chips do not actually use a fan, like most of them are fanless, but Apple decided to put one in here so that it could run at turbo boost a little bit longer, so that's nice. Um, but here's what it looks like, it looks really good. And the battery can be replaced without repairing the entire top of the laptop. So that is a huge win for both Apple, the environment, and you as a consumer. Now, one of the biggest things, this is probably, I get this comment constantly on my other video, um, my phone just blows up all the time because I get an alert pretty much every time one of you guys comments and our last few videos are going viral, you know, with like 30,000 views and all you guys keep commenting, hey, the Mac mini RAM is upgradable. And yes, it is. The user can upgrade it themselves. You don't have to buy it straight off the rack. However, the average person, say your grandma, if she buys one of these, she's not going to do this. Like she's more than likely not going to know how to upgrade her RAM. And it's not as easy as it was in the past. Uh, Apple definitely wants to discourage people from upgrading their own RAM. And um, this is something that uh, only tech-minded people will probably want to attempt. And also you're gonna need specific screwdrivers to get into this thing. Of course, I have them, and I'm sure all of your favorite tech YouTubers probably have the iFixit kit with the Torx screws and everything, uh, and security screws, but average people do not, and they're gonna maybe try using just a normal screwdriver on it, maybe strip the screws. So you really wanna have the tools, the right tools to get into this. Um, but anyways, if you want to do it, you have to first pry off with a spudger, uh, the little black, they don't even show it here. There's a little black piece of plastic covering this, pull that off, unscrew like six Torx screws around the side here, pull this off, be careful not to break this Wi-Fi, Bluetooth antenna. Uh, and then once you're inside, uh, you then have to unscrew four screws around the fan module. You then have to remove the fan, and then you have to pop a couple pins on the side and unscrew a bunch uh, on this actual motherboard, and then slide the whole thing out of the chassis through the back uh, right here. You have to take off this uh, metal sheet plate, whatever you want to call it, and then you get to the RAM. Then, of course, you have to put it all back together. Um, it's a very, it's a relatively simple uh, design and I do commend Apple for making all the devices look really good on the inside. That's I just got to give it to them. But um, basically the RAM, you have to take the whole thing apart practically to put the RAM in. So yes, it is user upgradable, but like 90% of the people that are on my videos commenting, hey, this is user upgradable, probably won't have the tools to do it or won't want to do it. Now it shouldn't void your warranty if you do it, uh, I don't think. However, if you break something in the process, that does void your warranty. Like they're not gonna help you with that. So just be super careful. I think you can actually get the RAM for about half the cost. So if you were gonna, you know, spec it out on Apple's website, if you bought the RAM yourself, installed it yourself, you could save yourself about half the cost. So 
that's pretty decent savings. Um, I will link the RAM that you guys can use for this uh, down below in the description. So if you're not sure what you want, you guys can go check that out. And hopefully this will help you guys save some money. If you are tech inclined, like personally, if I bought one of these, I would absolutely upgrade this RAM myself uh, because I love tinkering with things. I like getting in there and I know what I'm doing more or less, um, but the average person is not gonna want to. Um, they're just gonna get discouraged as soon as they take the back off, they're gonna be like, where's the RAM? And once they realize they have to take off the fan and pull the whole thing out, they're not gonna wanna do that. And Apple knows that, that's why they did it, I think. But overall, it is possible to do, just not the easiest thing in the world, um, but it's not the hardest thing either. So it is what it is, guys. So stay tuned to the channel. I've got more comparison videos coming up. I know you guys love them. Leave any video comments, suggestions down below. I listen to all you guys. I reply to pretty much everyone's comments. I love to interact with you guys and I appreciate each and every one of you. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.